On our last episode, we talked about burnout. Harvard Business Review says burnout is when relentless work stress pushes you into a debilitating state. When you are burnt out, you feel three things. Number one, exhaustion. Number two, cynicism. Number three, incompetence. If you missed the last episode, the link is below. We teach you how to avoid burnout. This was one of our most popular episodes and the biggest question I got from everyone involved is, okay, I've been raising my hand, I'm already burnt out, I'm sad or I'm depressed, what do I do now? In this episode, I'm gonna walk you through the three things that I did every single time I found myself in a burnt out situation. Intro. What's up everybody, I'm TK and you are watching another Unstoppable Sunday. Unstoppable Sunday is when we take 15 minutes every Sunday to stop, to pause, and ask ourselves two questions. Number one, where am I? And number two, what do I do next? All of this is to help us pause, reflect, and get to a more proactive life so that we're no longer dreading Mondays and reacting to the week and only to count down the weekends. If you are new to this movement, if you are new to the Unstoppable Movement, be sure to hit the subscribe button below. We publish an episode every Sunday just like this to help you lead a more proactive life. Our goal this year is to help a thousand people live a more proactive life so that they can go on and achieve their goals. If you're interested in that and you wanna help us with that mission, also hit the like button because that means your friends and your family can find out about this movement and get more proactive in their lives too. On our last episode, we talked about the idea of burnout. Burnout is when you are feeling exhausted, when you're feeling cynical about your work, when you are wondering if you're even competent enough to do your job. And the whole episode, we'll link to it below, was all about how do you avoid burnout by getting more proactive in your life. This ended up being, it clearly struck a chord in all of us, this ended up being one of our most popular videos, most commented videos, most shared videos. I got Slack messages in our 45 day beast mode challenge group, I got emails, I got Facebook message requests from my own friends and they were all like, I think I'm burnt out and it's too late to avoid it. What do I do now? And, and so that's what I'm gonna talk about in this episode and give you three things you can do to get out of burnout if you're in it right now. The problem with burnout is you're feeling all these things but you don't quite know what the root of the problem is. Is it that your job sucks or the people there sucks and they don't appreciate you and you don't quite feel value? Is it an external thing? Or is it that your situation is fine but you just can't get your head straight? You can't focus, you feel tired and you just can't rise up to the level that is needed of you in the job that you're in? Or is it a case where everything just is messed up and you're, you're knee deep in a whole big mess, external stuff sucks, internal stuff sucks and you're like, don't even know how to get out of it. In my own life, there has been several times where I felt burnt out. I felt sad, I felt depressed, I couldn't get as much done. The big thing that got me out of it to actually pull out of it and say, all right, this is not okay, is A, recognizing that I was feeling those things. And I think that's why our last episode was so popular. A lot of people watched it and said, wait, hang on, that's, that's me. And that's okay, I've been there. I've been through divorce, I've changed careers, I've left jobs, I've had to make massive turnarounds in the companies that I was running. I've been in those situations where our bodies and our feelings and our environment, all of it is just yelling at us and saying there's something wrong. The biggest thing, the first step you need to do is actually recognize that and take that first step and saying, all right, something is wrong, let me pause and reflect and try to understand what is going on. That's the whole idea behind living a more proactive life. You pause and reflect, and then you create a corrective action plan to figure out, all right, this is what's wrong, here's what I'm gonna do to start to get out of this situation that I don't like and get to a situation that I actually wanna be in. Now, in my experience, through all the crazy, crazy burnout situations, SAS situations, just crises of adversity that I've been through, I essentially broke it down to three buckets that you might be in. So if you are feeling burnt out and you actually sit down and pause and reflect, you're probably gonna fall into one of these three buckets in terms of where you are. The first one is you need to leave. The second one is you are actually fine in the environment you're in, there's something wrong with how you're approaching, so you need to double down. 
And the third one is it's some combination of the two and you might be in the middle of a crisis. A walk through each of those, but either there's something wrong in your environment and you need to leave, or there's something wrong with you and you need to double down, or there's some combination of the two and there's some sort of crisis and you need to deal with that as a crisis. Let me explain each of these. The first bucket where you need to leave is usually a situation where it's all of the external factors that are just all wrong. Whether it's the job you're in, or the friends or family that you're spending the most time with, or the place that you live in, or the city that you live in, you essentially pause and reflect in an honest way, and you get to a thing that says, you know what, it's not me, it's the situation or the environment that I'm in, and I just need to leave. That's scenario number one. Scenario number two is where you need to double down is the situation is fine, the environment is fine. You're in the city that you wanna live in, you're with the friends and family that you wanna be with, you are in the relationship that you're in, and you're in the job that you love, but you yourself, you maybe have been running hard for so long or been stressed out for so long, you're just burnt out and you just can't quite keep going. That's scenario number two. And then scenario number three is, it's all messed up. You're, the people you're with, the city you're in, the job you're in, you, like all of it is just like one big jumbled mess. This is your classic, just shitty life situation. That's not a technical term, it's just shitty life situation. Everyone gets it. And in those cases, what you are in is a crisis. It's a crisis in that, oh my God, like it's all messed up, I really need to figure out what's going on. And you just need to recognize it. So. Those are the three scenarios. The question is, if you're in one of these three scenarios, what do you do? Now, so if you're in the situation where you need to leave, let's just say that's where you are and you just recognize like, you know what, this is a bad situation. The biggest thing I hear from people is like, no, but like I've got these constraints and I just can't do this to this person. It's like, listen, you need to sit down, you need to take a 365 day view of your life and you need to say what you're gonna to do to change this external factor that is bringing you down. And you need to make a plan for it. This doesn't mean you go in tomorrow and quit your job and walk out and, and, and just like everything's fine. That's rarely the case. If you can do that, do it right now. But if it's a situation where it's like bad and you need to exit out of it, you need to just create a 365 day plan and get proactive about how little by little, one step at a time, you're gonna change and leave that bad situation that you're in. The second one is doubling down. If you are in the situation where it's you and it's not your environment, well, again, you're probably in the middle, if you're burnt out, you're probably in the middle of a really major deliverable. You're probably in the middle of a very critical project. You're probably in the middle of a big transformation. That's usually when burnt out really comes. If you're not, take a break right now, take a long weekend, take 10 days off, go to the movies, do whatever you need to do. But if you can't do that, if you cannot do that, this is where I say you need to double down. And what I mean by double down is you need to tell yourself, you need to give yourself a pep talk and you need to say, look, I get it, you're tired, you're sad, this doesn't feel right, but this mission is too important. So what we're gonna do is for 45 days, you're gonna pick the most important thing you need to go after, and you need to go crush it, and you need to promise yourself that at the end of that 45 day period, you're gonna give yourself 10 days off, or a long weekend, or a half day, or whatever you can afford to actually give yourself a break. So in a scenario where there's so much going on, you can't keep up, ironically, and I know this sounds ironic, you need to say, all right, I'm gonna do a 45 day challenge to really get ahead, to speed ahead, to focus on the thing that's important, and then I'm gonna give myself that break so I can come out of this burnout. And then there's the third scenario where you are in the middle of a crisis of adversity. Look, man, I've been there. I've been through really big, bad, scary things in life. And I empathize with you. The reality of it is, is this is never a simple situation. And I'm not gonna pretend to show you a three minute video and within two minutes I'm gonna say, here's how you come overcome crisis. The good news is I did like an 18 minute video on how I think about overcoming adversity. So if you're in that third bucket where it's not that you can't leave, it's not that you need to double down, it's just, it's a mix of things and you need to like figure out what is going on and you declare the emergency, hit red alert and go solve for it. I did a whole 18 minute video on that a couple months ago. I'll link to it, follow that for how to overcome adversity. So in conclusion, 
If you are feeling sad, depressed, burnt out, and you're in it, and you're raising your hand to TK, I'm in it, forget avoiding it, what do I do now? Step one, figure out where you are. Pause and reflect. Step two, figure out which bucket you fall into. Do you need to leave? Do you need to double down and then take a break? Or do you need to actually declare a crisis of adversity? And then number three, create a proactive action plan on how you're gonna get out of it for yourself. And then the last piece you need to do is like step four, even though I said step th three steps, is create a proactive life plan so this never happens again. That's an important thing to do. If you're looking to take a more proactive approach to life, that's what we do here at Unstoppable. Follow the link below for our Unstoppable Life Planning Guide. We'll teach you how to get a handle of your next seven days so you don't feel about scared about Mondays. We'll get you a handle on a proactive life plan for your next 365 days, and then finally for your next five years. And if you happen to be stuck, sad, depressed, burnt out, We'll show you how to do a 45 day beast mode challenge so you can kind of unlock yourself, get ahead, and then get proactive in your life. And don't forget, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. We really want to impact a thousand people this year to help them be more proactive by having them practice Unstoppable Sundays. And also, if you want to see these videos every Sunday, hit subscribe. And remember, most importantly, everyone needs a strategy for their life, but yours needs to be unstoppable. I'm TK, and I'll see you next week.